You need to do this to instantly increase your Starlink speeds after an upgrade. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Fireside. We're coming to the end of it, to the end of it. That smokiness of lap sun, guys, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're gonna be talking about how to instantly increase your Starlink speeds after being upgraded. Now, I did a video a couple of videos ago, maybe I'll put a link to it over here, and I was talking about a lot of people have been moved from best effort to residential. And that's a really big thing because instead of getting service that is degraded, usually about 50% the speed, you're now getting full priority access, full speed, once you hit that residential level. So this is a very big thing and a lot of people didn't even know about it until I created this video. And I said, listen, if you don't know if you've been upgraded or not, sometimes Starlink is actually sending emails out. Some people are not getting emails at all. If you didn't get an email, that's fine. Go into your app, check out your invoice and see what's at the top. Does it say best effort or does it say residential? If it says residential, congratulations. That means now you have priority access and your speeds should be like double for the most part, especially during times of congestion, you're going to have priority access over the data. Whereas the people that have best effort still or RV or roaming is what they call it now, they're going to have that deprioritized access. So they'll have the leftovers, so to speak. Anyways, I'm going to get into this today with you, showing you how to do this and why this is so important. And I just want to say thank you to a really great guy. His name is Deron N. We're just going to say N for his last name. And thank you so much for sending this information in. This is extremely valuable, and I want to give this information to the entire community so we can all benefit from this. So once again, thank you. Before I get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks as of yet, why the hell not? They're 100% free. Go over to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Also, if you want more Starlink content at the end of this video, click this little button over here after, not now, after. <laughs> <laughs> or just simply go over to the page and you will see something that says playlist. Go to the Starlink playlist and you'll find about 130 videos or even more now of Starlink content that I've produced for you guys. Stuff that I have learned, helpful tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, why. Once again, as I always say, this channel is all about the why, not just the how, but the why. So you actually learn something. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please throw this video a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Please do so. There's so many people that are watching these videos that are not subscribed. Just subscribe. And then whenever I come out with new ones, you will be notified of it. And if you really want to get notified according to YouTube, click this little notification button over here and then click all. And supposedly, you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out or when I go live on Fridays. This Friday, I should be going live. Anyways, finally, if you just want to say thank you, there's a little thank you button down there. You can click that, donate a couple of bucks. That'd be great. If not, that's okay too. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. So let's get right into this. Once again, like I was saying before, Duran wrote in and he said, you know, listen, we did get upgraded from that best effort to residential. Thank you so much for giving us this information. We ended up looking it up and we did get this upgrade, but we were still getting those slower speeds, which are usually half. So about 25 meg down is what he was seeing and maybe under 15 meg up, which still isn't too bad on the upside, but the downside is pretty slow slow. Well, he wrote in again and said, listen, something happened and I want to let you know what it was. Now, even though he got that upgrade, he didn't see any speed differences at all. But what he did and smartly did, as I always said in the past, reset your gear, reset everything. Once you reset things to factory, you obviously have to rebuild them from the bases, but it's not that hard to do. It doesn't take that long. But what ended up happening? He went from 25 megabits down up to 150 to 180 megabits down. What a massive change. And then instead of that slower 15 or even lower, maybe 10 megabits up, he's now seeing about 15 to 20 
megabits up. So a major, major disparity between the old best effort to now residential or that prioritized data speed, let's call it, however you wanna call it. So it is a big difference. Now, what did he do? He did that factory reset. Once again, I've told you guys about this in the past and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on this journey here on how to do it. Doesn't matter if you have a round dish, which would be a generation one, or if you have a generation two, the rectangular dish, or if you have the Starlink mesh system. I'm gonna show you exactly how to reset all of them. Some people are only resetting their main unit. All right, that router, that's not good enough. If you have a mesh system, you need to reset all of them, all right? Keep that in mind, it is very, very important. So let's start out with the rectangular dish. If you have a rectangular dish, which is the generation two, I have that one. My Mr. Bevel is rectangular. Now with that dish, to do a factory reset on it, you need to unplug it and plug it back in Unplug it and plug it back in three consecutive times with about, let's say, three second pause in between each unplug, plug, unplug, plug, unplug, plug. Okay, that's how you bring it back to factory. Once that happens, it will reboot. It will go through that whole rebooting cycle and then it might say stinky for your Wi-Fi name or your SSID, go in there and change it to whatever you want to call it so it's not stinky anymore. Put in a new password, put in all of your information again. Now, that is a full factory reset. Now, if you have a upgraded firmware on your router, now firmware that came out right around like August or so, maybe September of last year, I believe it's firmware 2022-0800 or something like that. Just figure by the end of the year, if you don't have the latest firmware on your router, shame on you, because you need to keep this thing updated. Always update to the latest and greatest firmware. It's very important. Now, if you do have the latest firmware from your app, from your phone, you can actually go into settings and then scroll down to where it says factory reset Wi-Fi. And that basically is the exact same thing. Tap on factory reset and it will go through that same rebooting process. It takes usually about two minutes or so. And then once it is done, it might once again say stinky. Go in there, log in, change your SSID, the name of your Wi-Fi, change the passwords, and get everything back to the way it was before. If you reset things like, for example, your heater, maybe you turned your heater off, or maybe you have it on, or maybe you have it on automatic, it has now went back to factory, which is auto. If you want to turn it off or leave it on all the time, whatever you want to do, you need to go in there. And anything else that you changed, go back in and make those changes. Changes. Now, I like that they actually put this into the app so you don't have to actually do this unplug, plug, unplug, plug, unplug. But I hate that. That just can't, in my opinion, be good for the electronics. I hate that. Just that constant in and out, in and out, just, you know what I mean? So the next thing is your mesh system. Now, if you have the Starlink mesh system, you also want to set them back to factory. It's very important. Now, you're going to do the exact same thing as you did with the main router, but instead of plugging it in and out, in and out, leaving that three second gap in between each in and out, you're going to do this six times. So instead of three times, you're gonna do it six times. The entire mesh, all of the nodes that are in that mesh, you're gonna unplug and plug, unplug and plug six consecutive times. They will reset. Once they're all rebooted and everything's ready to go, make sure you go into your router and change that from stinky to whatever you wanna call it, do all that modification, and then you're going to see pair mesh node. When you click on pair mesh node, it's gonna allow you to pair all of the other routers to the main router to create that mesh. Now, once you've done this, everything is going to be back to the way it was from the beginning. Your mesh is going to be working as well as your router. Everything's going to be fresh, let's call it. Now, if you have a circular dish or a generation one Starlink, it's even easier. You don't have to plug and unplug and plug in all the rest of this stuff. You don't have to worry about the app and all that. You just simply go to the router, go on the bottom of the router and you see a little button. Hold that reset button in for about, let's say 10 seconds. You'll see a blue light come on and and guess what? It just simply does a full factory reboot, reset, 
blah, blah, blah. It's done. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to plug and unplug and all the rest of this stuff. Just simply hold that button in. When it turns blue, let it go, and it will do the rest. You don't have to do anything else. So that's really nice with the old generation ones. And I'm glad that they have inserted, like I said, to the app a means of doing it through the app so you don't have to go to the router and be able to do this plug and plug and plug and nonsense. It's just annoying. But the bottom line here is once you're done with all of this, you did this factory reset on everything, your speeds will most likely be faster. Also, if there's any upgrading that needs to be done, it will do the upgrade when it reboots and acquires the satellite. It will go and say, okay, is there anything that needs to be changed? If it sees something, it's going to download the latest firmware, the latest updates, the latest anything, and then install it. So you will be up to date. And this is one of the things that I tell people all the time. If you have a system that's not running right, there's like some type of problem, it's kind of doing this hiccuping thing or whatever, Whatever. Do a factory reset on it. Doesn't matter if it's generation one, generation two, if you have those mesh networks, those nodes, reset it all back to factory. Yeah, it takes five, 10 minutes, but you know what? There is a major difference once the thing is actually reset and working properly. As you can see with Duran, he was getting 25 megabits down. And after he did the reset, he was getting from 150 to 180 megabits down. That is massive. That is absolutely massive. So this is something that I would encourage all of you to do. Just do it right now. Even if you did not get an upgrade from best effort to residential, and you've been on residential all of this time, do the factory reset. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt you to take five, 10 minutes, but you might thank me. <laughs> for doing so. And if you do get some value, once again, out of this video, down below, let me know what it is. And also let me know if your speeds didn't increase after you did a factory reset. Put that information down below. That would be really helpful for me, but also for the entire community. And that's what this channel is all about. The community, not some talking head over here giving you information. Don't, this is, that's not what this is all about. It's all about community. Matter of fact, speaking about community, head over to community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. That is our creative discord server, let's say. You'll see a lot of photo, video, as well as tech stuff on there, Starlink, all sorts of things. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of like-minded people talking all about this stuff. So once again, throw your comments down below. That would be very helpful. Throw this video a thumbs up. That would be also extremely helpful. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And then click this little button. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.